Hi, boys and girls. This is the last read aloud that I'm going to read for the year. This is called Blackout by John Rocco, and I love this book. Uh, it's one of my favorites. I usually read it at, towards the end of the year. Um, and maybe some stuff in this book can give us some ideas during, um, you know, the stay at home, um, being together with family. And it's a Caldecott honor book, which means great book. Blackout. It all started as a normal summer night. The city was loud and hot. All right, I know this, New York City. And let me just describe. So we've got the brother playing something. And then he said she's on the phone, the mother's on the computer, the dad's cooking. She's taking down um, a board game. Inside, everyone was busy. Get out. So everybody was doing something, but everybody was doing something alone. And it looks like wants to play a game. Much too busy. Wants to play a game. Busy, busy, busy. Going back upstairs. And then playing a video game. Although I love the picture on the wall is Thomas Edison, the man who invented the light bulb. And then the lights went out. All of them. You know, like a power outage. And nothing worked at all. The city was dark and quiet and still. And here they are with their flashlights. We huddled around flashlights and candles. Oh, he's doing like shadow puppets scares the cat until it was too hot and sticky to sit inside can we go where are they gonna go let's see where they're gonna go so we went up and up and up to the rooftop and found the light People. It was a block party in the sky. We waved to everyone and then heard the other sounds below. So we went down and down and down to the street. Come on. A party was going on there too. Free ice cream. People singing. And no one was busy at all. And then the lights came back on. Everything went back to normal. Everybody was doing their own thing separately. So look at what she decided to do turn off the light click but not everyone likes normal good idea buddy well maybe it was a boy maybe it was a boy with long hair i don't know i never said his name now he's calling him buddy 
Hmm, maybe he is boy. Would you call a girl a buddy? I don't know. I can see it being a boy. Or a girl. Guess what they're gonna do? They're gonna play a game. They're gonna be together. Instead of all doing their own thing. The end. So I'm just wondering. Sometimes we have to take time to be with our family and do things together with them and not just always be separated in our own rooms doing our own thing. And I think that's one of the things that I've enjoyed about this stay at home order from the governor is that even though that I miss all of you and being at school every day and having that school routine and um, being with my friends who teach at school, but there has been some positives about staying home. And the things that have been positive is that we've slowed down and have done things that sometimes we're too busy to do as a family, the Heritage family. So I've really, I think that's one of the, my if I did a pro and con list of coronavirus and having to stay home, one of my pros would be having time to just be together. Especially Skeeter. I know Skeeter is loving this, that we're all home and um, being home together. And he's getting a lot of extra attention. All right, friends. So maybe, what are you going to do this summer? What are some things that, you know, because maybe there's still not going to be all the things that we usually do. Like we might not be able to do all the summer things that we usually do in the summer because there might still be some rules for coronavirus well how are you going to have some time what are you going to do with your time hmm we've been playing scrabble i'm getting better all right see you later boys and girls love you